Hey everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanic.com. This is episode 21 of the Humble Mechanic Podcast, and it's Thursday. What do we do on Thursday? We talk about tools. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Makita Drill Driver Combo Pack. Not much says fun like dual wielding a, a drill and driver combo pack, but uh, we're going to talk about the drill and driver both. This is the drill here. Um, I actually use the impact driver way more than I do the drill, but they're both vital parts of, uh, of my toolbox, and the impact driver gets used multiple times a day, like I said, probably more than anything I have in my entire toolbox. This kit is the CT200RW, uh, purchased at Home Depot, runs anywhere from $179 to $200, uh, depending on whether you catch it on sale or not. I was lucky enough to catch all the time. Uh, on sale. I actually own two drills and three impact drivers. I know, I know, I have a little bit of a problem. Um, so what comes in the kit? The kit comes with a drill, an impact driver, two batteries, a charger, and depending on which exact one you get and where you order it from, uh, it comes with a storage case of some sort. These two came with a, uh, a soft-sided case. I use it for other stuff. It would make a great cooler if it were insulated, but it's not, so it doesn't. Um, I'm not a big fan of the storage stuff that most of this kind of thing comes in. I have so many blow molded cases, it's ridiculous. And they're hard to store and they're awkward and they take up more room than, uh, than they need to. So let's take a look at these individually. So the drill is pretty much a standard drill. It has all the features that you'd expect a drill to have. Adjustable speed, adjustable torque settings, keyless chuck, um, the batteries between the two are interchangeable, which is incredibly important. Um, the drill I have here has the belt clip attachment still installed, which, you know, I, at first I thought wouldn't really be a cool thing, but I actually have fallen in love with having that on there. Um, as long as you have a belt on to keep your pants up, this is great to have. And you can also hook it on your toolbox or, uh, or wherever. Um, I don't use the drill as much as I use the impact driver, but when it's there, it's a, it's a great drill to have. Um, one of the big things about both of these two tools is they actually have a break. What that means is when I pull the trigger and let go, the drill action stops. And you really don't realize how nice of a feature that is until you don't have that. And, um, you know, you, you get that spin on, so to say. And uh, it, it's, it's a, definitely a nice thing to have. So um, forward and back adjustment is all one-handed. So I'm actually right-handed. Um, so I control it with my thumb on this side and my pointer finger on this side. And I actually hold these and pull the trigger with my middle finger. Um, it's just a little bit more comfortable spot for me. The torque rating on this is 480 inch pounds of torque. So it's a, it's a fairly torquey little guy. Um, and it only weighs about three pounds with the battery installed. And the cool feature too is it's got a light. I also really like the trigger control, and you'll notice that the light actually does stay on for a few seconds after you let go of the trigger, so uh, it keeps the area that you're working in lit for just before action of the drill and just after action of the drill. All right, unlike the nice, clean, and new drill that I just showed you guys, this is the impact driver. You'll notice this thing has pretty much had the crap beat out of it. All the stickers are gone. Um, it's coming apart at the top. A bunch of the rubber uh, grip pieces are, are either broken or starting to tear, like you can see there. This is actually the very first one that I bought um, years and years and years ago. I've probably had this set for, this impact for maybe six years. And like I said, it's the most used tool in my toolbox. Um, a lot of the same features that the drill has. It's um, forward and back with my thumb and forefinger. This is how I hold the drill. Um, I pull the trigger with my pointer finger or my middle finger. It has the light that stays on just like the drill does. Um, great power. It's actually 118 foot pounds of torque. Um, the last one I gave you was in inch pounds. This is quite a bit more torque. Um, this will take a properly torqued Volkswagen wheel off, although I really don't recommend using it for that. Um, it's a little bit more strain than, uh, than I'd really put on on one of these uh, one of these small tools at least multiple times anyway. If you're in a pinch, I say go for it. Uh, but if you don't have to do anything with that, um, you know, if you have another tool, then I would go ahead and use that quarter inch chuck or quick attachment. So 
you know, these, these kind of deals fit perfect. Um, one of the things that they've actually updated on the newer ones that this older one doesn't have is when you push a bit in on the new stuff, it pushes right in. On this one and the older stuff, you actually have to pull the sleeve forward for it to go in, but it locks in really tight either way. This is a glow-in-the-dark ring that has seen more dirt, oil, brake clean, and whatnot than uh, there's actually still some anti-seize on there. Um, then you could probably imagine, so it doesn't really glow in the dark anymore. Uh, but you know, so what? I don't really work in the dark, so that's not really an issue. Super comfortable grip, um, rubber coated, it's very grippy, so uh, nice good feel on the hand. Um, I love them. I can't rave enough about these, these, uh, these two driver sets, you know, the drill and the impact. As far as the charger goes, uh, yeah, it's a battery charger. There it is. The batteries slip on, just like that. Um, doesn't have a wall mount on it, which is fine. That's a lot of bulk to walk, mount on the wall anyway. There's actually a little secret button somewhere on here that I don't remember exactly where. You can change the music that it plays when, uh, when uh, the battery starts charging and when it's done charging. So, um, you know, just a kind of a weird Easter egg type thing. But uh, great, great, great setup, great tool. The charge time on the charger is, on the two ampere hour batteries, is about 15 to 20 minutes. So uh, quick charge, again, you get two batteries, so you got usually one on the charger and one in, in the tool. So as you can see, I absolutely love this combo pack. The impact driver is awesome, the drill is awesome. I have a set at home, I have a set at the shop. I actually have another new driver floating around the house somewhere, but who knows where the heck it's at. Um, this is a highly recommended buy from me. I actually think all the drill driver combo packs in this space, the 18 to 20 volt space, um, are excellent. Other than Craftsman Power Tools, uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I really don't care for Craftsman Power Tools. Hand tools, fine. They make good stuff otherwise, but um, I've had bad experiences with their power tools, so I don't recommend buying them. Um, a cool story about this, these actually have a three-year warranty, um, and I was able to utilize that. I was, you know, going to town, taking off uh, belly pan screws or something at the shop, and uh, the, the impact driver started making a really weird noise, so I copped on the phone, um, checked the warranty. The warranty is three years. I was within that three years. I had kind of a weird experience with the local repair shop um, that was less than positive, and I'll, I'll leave all that junk out, but the folks at Makita were awesome. I reached out to them. Um, they took great care of me. They actually upgraded my impact driver, so uh, it all worked out in the end. So if you do ever have an issue, I don't really foresee that you will, but if you do have an issue, Makita's awesome to deal with. They had me a new one in just a few days, and uh, luckily I had a backup, so uh, I didn't have to worry too much about it. So that wraps it up. Everything, uh, everything about this drill I absolutely love. Um, I highly recommend it, like I said. If there's a particular tool you'd like me to review, fire me an email and let me know. Uh, include a link if you could in the email, and uh, you can email me at charles at humblemechanic.com. Put something like tool review in the email so that I know what uh, what to expect from the email. Um, you know, this always makes me question, what's your favorite tool? Post that in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Uh, what's the most, tool, most used tool in your box? Um, thank you guys so very much for all the likes on Facebook, all the YouTube likes, all the shares of the videos. It's really been awesome. Um, I know if you do YouTube or, or Facebook or anything, uh, you know how motivating a like or a share or uh, a comment really can be. So I super appreciate that. Thank you guys very much. Um, don't forget, if you have any questions about this video or any other video, always feel free to post the comments in the comment section below. That's awesome too. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.